Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, uh, we're back here. This actually took me a bit longer than I thought. It took me like 15 or 20 minutes to actually get back to where we were. <laughs> because, uh, if you remember last time, um, I had forgotten to save. I had just completely reset the that save. Do not worry though, I've saved up to now, so... We're all good, and that is a really, really deep hole. The good news is we have a way back here, should anything happen. Um, let's go check out over here real quick. Ooh, just barely. Alright. I have a feeling that, uh, yeah, we still need the boss key, obviously. So, we can't go in here yet. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't remember ever getting the boss key and I didn't see it in my inventory. So I'm pretty sure that we don't have it yet. However, um, I can't remember if this one's down here or not. We'll find out soon enough. Ah, oh, crap. I hate, I hate these things. They make me so annoyed because they keep catching me all the time. Although I did find one really cool technique to try on them. Watch this. You gotta wait till it's just about to explode. They grab it. <laughs> if you don't, if you do it too early, they'll throw it back at you. Oh crap! Yes. This is a, a interesting technique. I wouldn't call it a great technique, but it definitely keeps you far enough away from them. Oh God! Stay away. You gotta be careful to throw the bombs right back at you if you're too fast. Very grabby individual. Grab that bomb. Ah, oh, crap. Let's just wait. You gotta wait until it's just about to explode. Sort of like a... I don't know, trying to play some shooter game or something. You gotta wait till the grenade's just about to explode. That's how it usually works. Haha, <laughs> and it does work. Awesome. I'm gonna say it's probably not down here, though. I think this is sort of like if you fall down here, then you have to get back up. It's kind of sad. I wonder, how do I get her out of here, though? I can climb up these vines over here, but I wonder how I get her out. Maybe I just have to leave her alone. <laughs> wow. Just drop her, won't you? Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go find the key. It's probably in a room I just overlooked, or somewhere near here. We'll find it soon enough. Don't you worry one bit. No, it, 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 no! <laughs> hey, you're back again! Leave me alone. I gotta climb it again. Uh, climbing up wall made out of vines. You know, realistically, I think this would be a lot more taxing than he's making it look. He's making it look like we're climbing up a ladder, but in reality, we're kind of climbing up vertical vines. Now, maybe if they've meshed together enough, it could create a very grabby surface that would work. Ooh, what's this? This is what I was looking for, something like this. A little room down here. This isn't the room we came in. We came in a room that was up there. So anyway, let me see if I can get her to come back up here. I have a feeling I might need her for a puzzle or something. At the very least, I don't want the grabby hands to respawn and grab her. That'd just be annoying, wouldn't it? However, can I fly her through this? Okay, I can. That's good. Excellent. So I wonder what those clouds are for. Because they're not quite on the ground, so they don't prohibit you from doing anything. It's a little weird. Anyway, uh... Ooh, we got some treasure chest in here, it looks like. Let's just drop you right here, Missy. And... Looks like we got some puzzles, actually. Gotta drag around some mirrors. That's blocked off. I think I actually remember this from last time. Um, I gotta... Activate the sunlight, so I do need her again. 
Or no, the key's down here. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I am understanding now. So I have to figure out. There's something I have to do which activates light in here. And once I've done that. Well, here, at the very least, you can come over here. But uh, once I do that, then I can start reflecting light around, and you know, this will be great. It will. Just probably have to like step on a button or something. Let's get up here. Actually, if I go, if I use her, she can look around a lot better. In fact, she could probably go up there. I think I see a button. Let's go step on this button, and hopefully that will get us our light that we need. Yes! <laughs> Thank you very much, Missy. Okay, we'll leave her down here, and then we'll go join her. Okay, so what we need to do is... Well, first off, we got to figure out where did I put the light at? Ah, here it is. So we've got to direct the light around here to the different areas it needs to go, and one of the things we need to do, we can put the light on this chest and it should reveal the chest for us. Just gotta hold it. There we go. Okay, Link, Link, stop, 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 stop activating the light over and over again. There we go. Okay, now we have another mirror. Which... Actually, hold on a second. You know what I could do? I could get her... I'm trying to figure out how to do all these tiny little puzzles. Um, you have to bounce the light around this whole room in a certain way, and... Your end goal is to bounce it uh, through those eyes, and I believe that's where they key is, and that will allow us to get through. And I wasn't unaware, apparently she cannot jump. She can fly, but she cannot jump. It's physically impossible for her. Okay, uh, actually, let's just put the light about right here. Excellent. And then if we get over here, we should have light that we can place this way. And as I suspected, there is a mirror behind me. Isn't this fun? It's puzzles and stuff. Now, I think this type of mechanic... I know, you know, I know this is already, you know, too late. This, like, game came out so long ago. But... If they ever, for some reason, decided they wanted to, like, remake Wind Waker on the Wii or something, or with some kind of motion controls, this puzzle would work a lot better, because, uh, the way this puzzle is now, it's, uh, it's kind of relying on you to hold the thumbstick still, which is a little difficult to do when you're trying to hold it in, like, an exact position. But, uh, if you had, like, a Wii remote and you could point, that would be pretty cool. Let me guess, it's a... Oh, good, it's a purple rupee. I was gonna flip if it was another joy pendant. I don't even want joy pendants. You guys are disgusting. Go that way! Okay. Now, that we've moved this... I'm sorry if this is a little boring, but this is the game at this point. It's a lot of puzzle moving. I mean, you know, Legend of Zelda has always been fighting, adventure, and puzzle, those three elements combined. And we are definitely in a puzzle section. So, oh, nice! She moved when we got close to her. I was worried I was going to have some weird issues where she wouldn't move and then I was going to have to move her and it was just going to be annoying. But she does move. I'm happy about that. Ooh! Now, what have we just done? Uh, okay, so we reflected the light back and forth a few times until we've gotten it to here. So what we need to do is, uh, 
both gonna be grabbing like we only have one light stream down here but we have to have two people you know directing the light stream so we have to direct the light stream so I can get it in one area and she can get it in another if that makes any sense I hope it does but while we're doing that we're also going to be uh, trying to grab secret treasure and whatnot such as taking out this dude Yeah, that's another mirror. Grabbing this treasure, whatever it is. I hope it's another 50 rupees. I do enjoy me some good rupees. Oh, wow. It's been like 10 minutes of me just sitting here. Angling light. I'm re I was really hoping to uh, get the key to be in front of the boss room. boss room. So next episode I can find the boss. What's in here? Wait, this little room looks extremely suspicious. Yeah, this room looks extremely suspicious, like the one room with all the dudes in them. Hey look, it's the mini-boss again. Light does not appear to affect you. What about bombs? No, I didn't think so. It's hard to believe that I can block an attack with my tiny little shield from these big guys. Oh, darn it. I'm sorry. There's <laughs> a little bit of intenseness going on. It's a little too intense for my liking. Guys, this is amazing! Okay. Wow, that was crazy. All I'm hearing is lots of intermittent loud music. Like I'm hearing the regular music and then it's like da 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 Because every time you hit him it does not that little thing where the music just peaks, I guess. That makes sense. Ooh, I feel like I'm yelling now. If I did yell, I'm, uh, I apologize. Not trying to be yelling. I guess I should apologize to myself. I'm gonna have to work on that later and try to make it so I'm not yelling. Oh well. That's fine. I have a feeling this episode might go on a little longer than 15 minutes. But 15 minutes is going to be my aiming point. I'll be okay with 20 and I'll reluctantly take 25. Ooh, hello there, treasure chart. After viewing chart with Y, opening up the spot where treasure lies, light up. Excellent. Good. Using your words. Back to bouncing light puzzles of doom. And collecting chests. That, of course, is well. A joy pendant. whoop de doo I hate these things so much. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the light will bounce. Um, I suppose they're not going to set up the puzzle in a way that I can't solve it, are they? I don't think they would do that. Oh. Dang it. Controller, why do you keep doing this to me? There we go. Um, here, let's see. Let me think for a second. Um. What if... Okay, let's just pull this out. It's not going to hurt anything. Let's pull this out here and start directing some light around. Or actually, I don't know if it'll direct any yet. Ooh. Now, is that helpful? No, that's not. They put that stupid snake head there so you couldn't use it. Hello, snake head. Made out of stone. You make me angry. I need to direct the light here. But let's finish moving this out of the way. And I can't remember if I direct light at these big mirrors, if it'll do anything. I don't think it will. But I suppose it could be worth a shot. 
Anyway, let's get her positioned up here. She needs to be standing right here and aiming at his right eye. And then I'll be aiming at his left eye. Actually, before I go to all that trouble... Okay, so this is currently aiming at the wall. I think I need to get this mirror out. And the only way to do that is to do that little trick where I direct the light twice. Let me... No. Ah, darn it. I hate doing that because it takes another 10 seconds to get back into using her again. Okay. I need to get her to turn just a tiny bit this way. And aim the light about right there. Perfect. We can aim this where we need it. We're gonna use this large mirror here to redirect it back towards the one platform it can be redirected towards. I'm pretty sure that'll be what it does. Uh, there we go. And then I'll finally be able to aim it at the eyes. And ooh, we got some pots in here. Yeah, got some pots in here. Oh my gosh, it's a ton of money! Wow, I just gained like, I think like 150 rupees or something. That was fun. Thank you game developers, you just made my day. Okay. Excellent. We are all set up now. Get her set up, and then I will set up, and we should be ready to go. No, I was trying to get her to fly. I forgot she won't fly if she's in the light because the same button used for flying is the same button that aims the light. Gotta get out of the light and then fly. And then we can get back in the light and aim. Line it up and aim right at the eye. And lock that in there. That's one of my favorite things, is that you can lock her into position, which it would be near impossible to do anything if you couldn't, but it's one of my favorite little bits of this game. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's where the big key is. Probably. Okay. I wish there was a, instead of a let go button, there was a stop flying button. Oh, crap. Well, here we go. Let's do it again. Oh, no, no, it's these stupid skulls. I hate these things. No, I can't fight you if I can't pull my sword out. hit my shield. I just, I just hate dealing with these guys. No, that's not what it is, is it? Crap. I forgot what I have to do with them. I need light. Why don't I have any light? There's got to be something I can do to them. I just forgot what it is. And this is very annoying. Okay, just, just leave me alone for just a second. Let's try bombing you guys. Nope, oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Oh, now I can think for a second. Um, arrows, do arrows do anything? Good? Okay, not the fire arrows, what about the ice arrows? Yes! Excellent. I found a way to dispose of you. 
stupid flaming thingies. <laughs> Got your armor off. How do you like that move? And off with your helmet. Oh crap, he's a ninja, look at that. He he got the ice off him really quick. What about fire? How do you deal with fire? Not very well, obviously. <laughs> That's fun. Yay, we finally get the chest we've been wanting. exciting episode full of bouncing mirrors and stuff, and that might be the last night crest I need now that I think about it. Which is really good, because I can learn new technique. I believe it's the spin attack technique. Magical spin attack that's super awesome. If I'm correct, it's been a little while, so I might be wrong, but I thought I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You got the big key! Who would have guessed? <laughs> Guess what time it is? It's time to go fight the boss. Well, next episode anyway, but... Anyway, um... I don't know, you guys know the way back. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Um... Be right at the door, fighting the boss. What is wrong with you? You didn't even hit the wall that hard. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And, uh... I'll see y'all next time. Bye.